Up for review today, we have the Ultraman Zero vinyl figure, who made his first debut in Daikaiju Bataru, Uritora Ginga Densetsu, The Movie, and is also having two of his own directed DVD movies, and is also the son of Ultra 7, which I guess we can speculate that Zero's mother is a blue ultra. Uh, and in the Ultra Galaxy Legends movie, you can see some female blue ultras. Or maybe he's just half blue because I heard that Ultra 7 was originally going to be blue. And like his father in his two movies, he's, he makes his own host instead of choosing a human for a host. Now let's go over the packaging. And on the back it just shows statistics with footmark and the Ultra Galaxy Legends logo. Now let's get him out of the packaging. Now let's go over the figure. Now his stomach, instead of having a six pack, he has a four pack and it has an Ultra 7X looking style to it. And his traits that he's inherited from his father is like, I think this metal-like substance right here that goes from his chest to his shoulders to around his elbow. He also has two eye sluggers, which of course, like Ultra 7, he can throw like a boomerang-like blade. And can also put them together for a dual-wielded short-range weapon. And can also put them near his color timer in order to shoot the Twin Zero shoot, which shoots out a specium-like substance. He also has this green gem right here where he can shoot out his own version of the Amerium Beam. And on the terms of articulation, it's just like every other Ultraman. Now on ratings, I'm going to have to give this figure a 4.5 out of 5 for the detail and all the other repetitive things I've said that God only knows how many times I've said before is that the cons are that there isn't much possibility, but they're more meant for display purposes. And until next time, sayonara.